This week we highlight another life well lived. In November of 1959, a 22-year-old recent college dropout named Leon Levine emptied his bank account of $3,000 to start a family business that would become an American institution. Levine opened his first discount store in downtown Charlotte and called it Family Dollar. Growing up in North Carolina, Levine and his siblings helped their widowed mother run the family's small department store in Rockingham. In college, Levine sold bedspreads before leaving school to pursue his idea for Family Dollar. His goal was to serve low-income areas, both urban and rural, the things they needed clothing, food, and toiletries at a low price in a small local store. In that first family dollar, everything costs less than two bucks. Levine's idea soon took off. Within a decade, he had opened 50 family dollar stores. The company went public in 1970, expanding quickly over the decades that followed and becoming a Fortune 500 company with thousands of stores and billions in sales. In 2015, Dollar Tree, another discount retail chain, purchased Family Dollar for nearly $9 billion, making the Levine family one of the wealthiest in America, according to Forbes. Levine spent his life giving away that money. Through the Leon Levine Foundation, he funded scholarships, hospitals, a cancer institute, museums, and Jewish organizations, leaving a legacy that extends well beyond his groundbreaking stores. Leon Levine, who made essential goods accessible and affordable to millions of Americans, died last week at home in Charlotte. He was 85 years old. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.